This one is called, God, I, I when I saw that title, I couldn't believe it, self-care. Because if you're in mental health, that's all they talk about now. Bruce, what kind of self-care are you doing? Oh, you're reading. Oh, you took a hot bath. Oh, you took a walk. Self-care. Good, good, good. Self-care. Self-care. And he actually lifted these words for his fifth song, where there is a video to it, and it's called self-care. Self-care. And I went, when, I, when I saw those two words, I go, my God, it says it all. This is all they discuss in mental health. And it goes, I switched the time zone, but what do I know? Spending nights hitchhiking, where will I go? Yeah, what, what do I know? So New York, because he says they went from New York to L.A., could be anywhere, but not home, not happy there. Wherever he went, you got the sense he wasn't happy in any of those environments, even from the interviews. And then it goes, down below, now I know that the medicine be on call, yeah. Medicine be on call, yeah, when I can't deal with the pain that I'm feeling, I'm going to go to medicine. And here he goes like this. He goes, can't trust no one, can't even trust yourself. Yeah. When you have the blues, this is how you think and, f- and feel. The mind starts to work against you. I can't even trust myself. And self-care, I'm treating me right. Hell yeah, we're going to be all right. We're going to be all right. Yeah, so if you say it, then again, you're not doing it. You know if you're, you know, you know if you're fighting it or if you're not. You know if you're right about this. Are you checked out? Have you like given up? Are you like, oh man, I used to like doing this. I used to love going bowling twice a week. I gave it up. I used to play softball. I used to uh, play video games. I used to go out and jog. I used to, you know, like to go out to try different restaurants. Yeah, yeah, I'm too tired. I'm exhausted, man. I used to like to go to the movies. Nothing. Are you checked out? And then it goes like this. I've been losing my, I've been losing my, I've been losing my mind. Yeah. He was not kidding. As he was under terrible stress and on a daily basis, stress and tension on a daily basis. Seeing him with the lean in his in that video that he made about himself was dreadful. Who was reaching out to him when he's drinking that lean? I thought, oh my God, Mac. I felt terrible for him. Then he goes... You know, get the blank out of the way. Must be this high to pay. Must be this high. The drug orphans is going on and on. And then it must be nice above the lights. And what a lovely life that I made. Must be nice above the lights. Looking down, I'm floating. I'm high. I am not dealing with things. And what a lovely life that I made. And he was known. He had a good ability to put in sarcasm. And then finally he made the comment, he says, somebody save me from myself, yeah. He's crying out for attention and help. No one listened. Crying out, crying out, crying out. And then can you feel it now? Can you finally feel emotions after the drug and alcohol? Do you even want to? And, you know, it's so obvious that he's in and out of the coffin, which was taken from Kill Bill, and the motif of climbing out, climbing out. You know, I've been through enough terrible situations and horrible, you know, scenarios in mental health or in clinical counseling that people will often often say to me after someone is self-destructive, they never saw it coming. Bruce, I don't know what happened. He seemed like a nice guy. Seemed like he had it together. He seemed like he was doing really well. What? How could you even come up with that? Hey, again, like I said before in the, like by the second song, had he been my patient or if I had to watch his videos and listen to his lyrics, as I said in the first song, um, what would have happened is I would have had him committed for an observation, treatment, and then aftercare. We see it, but we don't want to see it. We see the train wreck coming. We see the train coming down the tracks, picking up steam, but we, when we can stop it at five miles an hour we wait till it hits 80 miles an hour and then bam, crash, explosion. And you know what the reason why we don't do want to do that stuff? Because it forces us to have to look at ourself. And you know what? It's not fun to do. Always look at the sleep pattern, all right? Too little sleep is just as bad as too much. Whenever I work with kids, that's the number one thing I look at. Are they in bed all day? I understand at a certain age, you know, between 15 and 20, you can sleep for like three days because you're so tired. Then your head hits the pillow, you're out like a light. But when I see excessive sleep, like every day for the weekend, 12, 14 hours, 
That's a lot of sleep. When you sleep a lot, it's a way not to have to deal with reality. Adults would often say that they're tired and exhausted. Yeah, you need sleep, but you need normal sleep. It has to be a good REM sleep. Your sleep to avoid dealing with depression and what's going on is a telltale sign is you're not relaxed, you're not focused, and your physical health is compromised. Put the clues together like a puzzle. But you don't need all the pieces to realize that something is wrong. Even if you're missing 10, 15, 20 pieces, you can identify this is a head, this is a fish, this is a babbling brook, this is a roller coaster. You're on track. You're on the right way. Your physical health is just as important as your mental health. You know, the irony is that drug and alcohol and self-destructive behavior only makes your physical health worse. Are you emotionally spent? If you can't concentrate, something is wrong. And that's the impression I got from Mac, but I've seen that with other people where they're literally spent. They need to just relax, chill out, calm down. Because when you're on your game, you're focusing. And that's what I want people to realize from watching him in this video is that when you're on your game, you're focusing. When you're not on your game, you are disjointed. You're all over the place. Great athletes will always say if they had a great game, or any athlete, I was focused, I was in the zone, I was locked in. When you're not locked in, when you're not able to kind of like get it done the right way, you're not focused. And that's what I got from that song.